Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this is going to be about all of Trump's cases. We've got um, the New York State uh, Civil Business Fraud Court uh, case with Letitia James that will be that's going on right now, as a matter of fact. Then we've got uh, January 4 is set for the New York State of uh, Fraud Hush Money. That's the sex scandal. Alvin Bragg, District Attorney of Manhattan. Uh, so that's uh, January 4. Then we got March 4, the Washington, D.C. Federal Court. Now that's Jack Smith, Special Counsel, Conspiracy, uh, Election Subversion to Defraud the U.S. Government and Conspiracy of Obstruction of Official Hearing. That's the January 6 insurrection. Then we got number four, which is the May uh, 2004 Federal State. Uh, Florida State Federal Court Mar-a-Lago classified documents and then asking to delete the tapes two different things going on there That's Jack Smith and then we got no date yet for Fonnie Willis in uh, Georgia State uh, Court uh, for election tampering so that's what we'll talk about I hope you like the video if you like the video please do like the video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and thank you very much for watching All right, so here we go on the Trump uh, cases. So lots of stuff to get into, and it's amazing. And look at how many people still, even with all of this, are still supporting this guy. How does that happen? That's what I just can't understand. But uh, we'll dig into each one of those five situations. Yep, five. And uh, see what the cards can tell us, uh, because everything's hotting up right now. People are flipping right and left, and looks like Mike uh, Bark Meadows had his uh, deal going in from the very beginning, and we're just finding out that he had that immunity. But it's federal, and it's not um, doesn't help him in the Georgia uh, case of uh, trying to set up all of that subversion. I mean, we kind of forget about that because Mark Meadows' part in that Georgia thing seems to be the most prominent uh, issue that's uh, in the news so much, but his part in the um, federal uh, conspiracy, uh, which ended up in the uh, insurrection. Um, that um, is the one that, we, that he's made the deal in. So we'll talk about all those, see what the cards can tell us, but before we do any of that, let's have just a moment, if I can find my little prayer of meditation. So there's a lot to talk about. I've even got a list here so I know uh, I can keep on track. It's right off here to the side. So if you see me reading, that's what that's about. So 91 criminal felony counts in everything. When you add everything up, all the cases. Two state courts, that would be Florida and Georgia. Not counting the District of Columbia where the um, Jack Smith, uh, one of those cases is happening. Uh, <coughs> well... <coughs> And then two federal districts would, would of course be the District of Columbia. <clears throat> and I'm not sure what the other one is, but I guess that's the Florida court where they're having the floor, the federal um, prosecution regarding um, the top secret documents and deleting the tapes. So let's see. So 91 criminal counts, two state courts, and two federal districts. Uh, what's going on right now in New York State is civil business fraud. Natisha James, New York State Attorney General, and Judge N. Goron. So this is where they, uh, his, Trump's attorneys did not ask for a jury trial by mistake. They omitted checking a box, apparently, uh, that uh, Haba, uh, Lena Haba, I think is her name. And so this one is just before the judge, and then the judge, there was so much evidence of fraud that he determined, yeah, 
it was fraud and now it's just a matter of determining what the damages will be. So all of the uh, bluster you see from Trump saying, oh, that's not true, and this witness says that, and this and the other, doesn't mean he's ever going to convince the judge that he didn't do the crimes. He did the crimes. The judge has said, he's, you've done the crimes. Now we're just going to figure to what extent um, of damage uh, needs to come as a uh, resolution for that. So that case, let's do three cards and see if it warrants some more. One, two, three. So we want to know about the success of the case is what we're looking at here. We'll see what direction the cards lead us in. First, oh, okay. So it's weighing the evidence right now. Two of Pentacles, balancing the value. How? What? What is this worth? What is that worth? As far as crime, he's guilty. How much crime did he commit? And what is it? The compensation going to be worth? First card. Next one up, Queen of Cups. The judge has to balance so, uh, cups or emotion, compassion, and the judge in this case has to balance. Um, to determine what amount of compassion or uh, fairness has to go into that. And then the last, oh, it's a wheel of fortune right now. So the wheel of fortune not to as to his guilt, because he's guilty already, that's done, but as to how much of his fortune, okay, is going to be lost. I think this is pretty clear for that. So the, you know, the case is going on right now in New York State. What are the cards for that? Well, it's in the process. It's very clear that the balance is being weighed the uh there's compassion that has to enter into the figure and then the fortune his fortune is a wheel of fortune here to determine what's going on there let's get two more cards just to see if the uh, cards can give us a little more information about what the outcome very expensive or not as expensive as it could have been it's kind of what we'd be looking at two cards first one is wow so this is emotional celebrations and since we're talking about the court this has to be the, in the favor the court is having these uh, uh, compassionate emotional celebrations and then the last card oof, the Trump fortune is going to be belong to the court it falls we're talking about the court here this is drop family values here and um, so yeah the Trump fortune will belong to the court be clear okay so now let's go on to the next one the next one is um, set for January 4th as of right now. That's New York State. This is the fraud hush money, the sex scandal where he had Michael Cohen pay the sex porn star. Uh, Alvin Bragg is the district attorney of Manhattan that's bringing this case. And so what for, so we're drawing cards for the case for the state of New York, for Alan Bragg, actually. That's the uh, the answers we're looking for are there. We're not gonna go to the negative energy of Donald Trump. We're gonna go to the positive energy of the state and see how this is gonna go. Let's do three cards just to get started on that. So New York, fraud, hush money, sex scandal, lying to the state about what the money was spent for, trying to do a tax deduction on it, this is Alan Bragg. Okay, temperance. Well, it's the same thing again. Trying to find where is the balance in this thing. Where is the guilt and where is the innocence. And remember, this is set for to start January 4th so far. Uh, Knight of Swords. So this is truth, justice, rules, and law coming in on a swift horse, full power. And then the final one is the star. So again, since we're uh, asking questions about the governmental side of this, not about the Donald Trump side of this, because I would have said, well, this is Donald Trump, he's a star. But no, this is telling me that the um, government comes out ahead on this one. Again, we'll do two more cards just to see how damaging this would be for Trump. Wow. The advice of the cards for Trump, because this piece we're asking about Trump, is that he needs, the truth, justice, rules, and law are right here. And he needs to rest and relax and be careful about getting up because he can be hurt. And the last one here, the damages. The Page of Swords. So Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules of Law. The Page is the weakest of the uh, court cards. It may not be as hurtful as we think it is going to be. I wonder if we're going to look at above or below the um, the $250 million that the Tisha James wants. Let's do two more cards, maybe three. 
okay, the magician. They have all the tools they need to make this come out. Wow, so this is Letitia James, the uh, not Letitia James, but uh, Alvin Bragg. This is the court side of this. And so we also have the wealthy person here. It's this government and the end of the road for Trump. Wow. I want to look at this as if I had drawn it as a dyadic cross and see how it can feel. So I'm going to put them down in the way they have been laid down. So the, uh, the signifier of this for uh, this situation is temperance. It's challenged by coming in with all the uh, truth, justice, rules, and law. It's um, grounded by the start. In this case, I think we can say this is about, um, it, could, it could either be, uh, this is representing Trump here, the basis of all of this, or the uh, state of New York being defrauded. They're the star. In the past of this is Trump uh, knowing when to take a break. Uh, in the sky of this is the Page of Swords, which is a week offering a truth, justice, rules, and law. The final outcome with the magician is that uh, it's still all the tools are in the hands of the court but it hasn't been deemed yet uh, and then as clarifiers I guess you could say we have the uh, privileged uh, woman and the end of the road so it's all bad for Trump no matter how you lay it out so that one's going to end in favor of the state with not as as badly I think as it could be but um, it does seem to be with that death card the end of that business really because that's what we're dealing with but in fact that business is Trump. Now the next one we're going to talk about is March 4th 2024 in Washington DC federal court so this is Jack Smith special counsel for the government conspiracy to subvert uh, and to defraud the US to subvert uh, and defraud the US government and conspiracy with obstruction of official hearing which was storming the Capitol. Conspiracies Okay, Trump would be the top dog in those conspiracies. He is the one uh, to benefit from the act of the conspiracy. So let's see. And so everything that's being developed now in Georgia on a wholly separate thing will certainly lend uh, weight to this when it happens on March 4th. So three cards for the March 4th, Jack Smith, um, election subversion, and um, the... Um, Storming the Capitol. Three cards. We're looking at the government's position on this. <clears throat> King of Wands. The government is in charge of the actions. Okay. We're going to be proud to show our emotional wares. And we have all the tools, as in government, all the tools to make this thing uh, happen the way we want it to happen. So again, that one, uh, the Jack Smith is uh, going to come out fine in that one, the government, not Donald Trump. The next one, and then we have one more after this, is uh, the uh, Mar-a-Lago, uh, the classified documents, and then trying to have the uh, tapes deleted where he was uh, shows them moving boxes or hiding boxes. Um, so three cards for that Mar-a-Lago. Again, this is Jack Smith, but this is being conducted in Florida. On, in, a, in the federal court. Three cards, Mar-a-Lago, documents, classified documents hiding, and uh, deleting the tapes. Woo, judgment is coming. Weighing the evidence. Ah, these are short-term plans. Wow. This makes me think there's a short-term sentence term, uh, prison term in here for Trump. Whoa, and a nightmare. Not good for Trump. The last one, which doesn't have a date set yet, we feel like it is happening now because some of those uh, people in that case, the co-defendants, uh, have taken plea deals. So we kind of feel like the case is, is, has started, but in fact it hasn't. Uh, this has happened so that these folks don't have to go to uh, trial. They've already said they're guilty. And um, so that's where we're out of that. Three cards to start with. So that's out of Fonnie Willis, Georgia. Election tampering. Remember, they sent folks down there to get in with the machines. They tried to convince the uh, 
um, I don't know what their names are, but the government, fo the folks counting the votes to say, oh, we found some more votes. Okay, so this one, you know, I'm reading it for the, <clears throat> I intended to read it for the benefit of the government, this, but, but I tell you, this has got to be Trump here feeling bound up. It could be Fannie Willis, I suppose. The thing about the Eight of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, is that you feel like you're trapped, but you're not. Making a choice, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law, walking away. This is all Trump. I'm sorry. So, yeah. He feels like he's trapped, but he's not quite. Apparently, there's some wiggle room he could take advantage of if he would sh uh, you know, try to, to do it. I don't know that he's going to be smart enough to do it. Um, that's the choice that's going to have to be made. Try to work something out now or go to the very end. And it looks like he's going to have to walk away from everything of the emotional importance to him. And that uh, he'll lose that. And Fonnie Willis will prevail in the long run of the trial. It hasn't started yet, but it seems like it has. So that's where we land on all of that. Yeah, hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so this is the newest deck I've got. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Um, it's just another take on uh, from Los Scarbio on um, the um, the classic uh, Rider Waite Tarot. But uh, apparently, this person Wise has had their input into it. And uh, the, what I love about it, first of all, it's got a great container. I always feel like what I think of when I open these containers is if I got this as a gift, what would I think about it? And I think, well, this is very nice. When you get into the box, I mean, it gives you a hint right from the beginning what you're going to see. It's a close-up of the cards in kind of rich color with kind of a, a tinged uh, overtone to kind of give it an antique look, in my opinion. Anyway, the cards themselves, I'll go over, but I want to tell you first about the instruction booklet. And you know, it's a typical instruction booklet that you get with any of these decks in a few different languages, and it just gives you some basic uh, uh, meanings of how to divide the cards. But what's good about it and is that it gives you a really terrific uh, synopsis of uh, how uh, this uh, uh, Rider weight uh, system was developed and when and by who. It talks a, a little enough about author weight and Pamela Coleman-Smith who were the creators of this and the Kabbalistic uh, theory and history of all of that. Um, it, is, uh, it gives you a real quick mention about the Golden Dawn, which is very significant to the development of these cards. And then it gives you a really great little section about, about how to read the tarot and storytelling through the, the cards. So I like the little book. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. It's not information that most people don't know, but it is uh, interesting. Now the cards themselves, they got a cool back. They're kind of shiny and, um, you're going to see that kind of what they are is like they've kind of made a close-up of the typical tarot uh, images and then colored them in very vibrantly and then oversprayed the whole thing with sort of an antique kind of a, a feel. So they're great for me. I've got a few uh, vision problems and so in that they're close up, but they're still vibrant with color. And I think these are going to look great on the camera. Uh, I like to uh, spread the cards out like this for a couple of reasons. One, is it's a good way to show you uh, more than a couple of cards that you get to see in a typical tarot drawing. And that's something that I always wanted to see. I wanted to know more about what the cards I was looking at before I was making the videos. And number two, it's a good way to um, shuffle the cards up without damaging them too much. And if you're reading for someone else, then there's a third uh, benefit, is that you can let someone else do this kind of spread around if they're not comfortable with making a shuffle or, or and then you kind of get their energy into the cards. So this is the a Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot, and I just like them a lot. So this will be my newest deck. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So, ciao for now.